So I want to make this video as brief as I possibly can because this is a quote unquote leak and uh, let's thank the base Rufomonger for like showing us this. I don't know where Rufomonger got this, but Rufomonger is the one with the video. So I am on the video and I am looking at the leak. Now, there are several things I want to say um, in regards to this leak. I have my own sources. I don't want to put them out there, but my sources have told me that this leak could possibly actually be fake like i'm saying possibly because uh they're not entirely certain but they seem to be close to everything that's going on with bandai namco so i'm just gonna go ahead and say that i believe them right um but they also said that this doesn't mean that the characters aren't in the game and it could be true because you know, this is just data. They said that the same thing had happened with Tekken 7. I'm not aware of that happening. I don't remember that happening, but I'm just going to go ahead and lean on them for this. Um, but let's just take into consideration that this might be real, right? Uh, so we got Yoshimitsu. That's like a layup. He's been in every single Tekken game, like even on Tekken Advance. I don't think there's been a single Tekken game without Yoshimitsu um maybe tekken revolution did tekken revolution have yoshimitsu i have to look up a video on that but uh shaheen you know is a new character from tekken 7 which honestly i would rather have had shaheen announced than leroy smith leroy is annoying um shaheen's annoying too but marginally less annoying right and we got raven i can't wait to see shaheen's new design yoshimitsu too we have raven uh it doesn't say master raven it just says Raven. So that means that there would be either Raven or Master Raven is how I interpret that because as far as I knew, Raven was still missing. And story doesn't move really fast in the Tekken series. Hasn't done that since Tekken 5, in my opinion, right? Uh, then we got Zafina. Uh, some people might hate that. I'm glad Zafina is back. I do like Zafina. She started off as like a C-tier character in Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2, and they made her top tier in Tekken 7. So... You know, people are really salty at that, but they've always been salty as Athena no matter what. I don't know why, uh, because she gets low to the ground. But, you know, they don't really say as much as uh, they say about her, about, like, Xiao Yu, right? Um, well, they did in Tekken 7, but not the other games. Anyway, so Steve, Steve Fox, that seems believable, and so is Elisa. Lars is in the game. Elisa being in the game makes sense, even though... Honestly, I'm tired of Elisa. I think Elisa's arc has passed. You know, I can't really see a reason to like keep putting her in these games, right? Um, she had a reason to be in Tekken 7 very briefly, but it was like so minuscule. It just feels like, you know, it didn't really even make sense to keep her there, right? Um, I think, uh, let's say that this is the full roster, right? Because these are all the beta characters plus a couple more characters let's say that this is a full roster i kind of like it i think it's very condensed um if that's what they're going for normally i would be like yeah that's cool but they said they aim to have like a higher launch roster than most games so this might be this might not be it um but let's say that it is right so we're missing a couple of key characters we don't have lay we don't have um i, I just had him in my head we don't have lay we don't have, uh, gosh, we don't have Anna. We don't have Armor King, Craig Marduk, or Julia. Um, these are characters that are legacy characters. And I know people are like, oh my goodness, I'm so sick of these DLC guys. I'm not a guy that's against DLC. However, I am against giving uh, characters that are like the core of a game as DLC characters. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, you know. I feel like they could have squoze Julia in the game. They could have squoze Michelle in the game, even. Uh, they could have squoze, uh, you know, Armor King in the game, Marduk, all those characters. They've done it before. They did it with Tekken 6. They did it with Tekken Tag 2, which brings me to my next point. Um, a lot of people really can't be mad about DLC like I can because I got Tekken Tag 2. I pre-ordered it and got like eight free DLC characters. I was the happiest dude in the world. And they were free anyway. We just got early access to them back in the day. Harada said he had never charged for DLC, but because of the way Tekken Tag 2 turned out, meaning a lot of people didn't buy it or they uh, maybe, uh, he was saying that they traded them, I guess. I don't know. Um, because of that, you know, they didn't really see it as like a sustainable business practice, right? 
Um, and I understand, but I just need you people to know, the people that complain about DLC, you motherfuckers skipped out on Tekken Tag 2, and they gave us eight free fucking DLC characters early. And they gave us eight free DLC characters, period. All you had to do was pay $10 to pay on, uh, to play online. But guess what? If you would have just pre-ordered the fucking game, you wouldn't even have to have done that. So that's another dig at people that complain about DLC that didn't get Tekken Tag 2. Um, but let's say that this isn't the full roster and there's more to come. Then I'm completely zen with it. Um, I don't like legacy characters being ones that you pay for. Um, and what makes a legacy character in Tekken. So these are characters that have spanned like three, four games and they make up the core of Tekken. Um, like I believe Tekken 4, when I think of Tekken 4, I think of that's core Tekken for the most part, right? Um, I would only add like a couple more characters to that. Like Tekken 5. Tekken 5 is like a good core group, right? There's a couple of characters that could go missing or could be interchanged here and there. Like you could take Bruce out for a couple games, a game or two, and you can replace him with somebody and you can replace other characters. Now, is he a legacy character? Yeah, but prior to Tekken 5, Bruce was only in Tekken 2 and Tekken Tag 1. So that stuff like that. Um, June, you kind of have to have her in this game. That's fine. But, you know, like Roger Jr., you don't really need Roger Jr. Um, I don't think that you really need, like, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think. Because when I think of core characters, I think of, like, Kazuya, Jin, Heiachi's dead. You don't really need Heiachi unless he's a memory, I guess. I think of Kuma, even. Paul, Law, Lei, Julia, Jack, Yoshimitsu. Um, now, at this point, Steve, Feng Wei, um, you know... All those characters, they're like core characters. I don't really consider Elisa a core character, if you want me to be honest. I don't care how tied she is to Lars. Like, she really only has canon-wise Tekken 6 and Tekken 7, you know? So, yeah, th there are characters that I would accept as DLC. But, you know, personally, I just feel like it's a little wrong to put Julia as DLC. You know what I mean? An armor king. Like, come on, bro. Look at Tekken 6. But if the roster is much larger, and like I said earlier, let's say that it is, um, I don't know how much more they would add to the game. I just hope that some of the legacy characters that I mentioned get in this time. And now the DLC characters that we are waiting for would be like, I don't know, Angel, Bruce would be cool. Uh, making Forest Law would be a neat one. Um, you know, Christy Montiero is like a DLC character. Like, have Eddie in the game, but change Christy up so Christy is as different from Eddie as Anna is from Nina stuff like that like I would really love to see that type of stuff in um Tekken 8 personally if the roster is going to be much bigger than this but that's all I wanted to say about this leak like I said um one of my sources said that this seems to be fake but you know it is what it is I'm just I, I didn't really listen to the Rufo Mongers video I just you know uh, got to this point so I can see the characters that are leaked and yeah that's how I feel about it let me know what you guys think do you think that it should be a smaller roster do you think that DLC is fine no matter what do you hate paying for legacy characters or are there some characters that you don't wouldn't mind paying for because you don't think that they're like a part of the core group of Tekken because honestly putting Julia in season 2 DLC for Tekken 7 that was like putting that'd be like putting Zangief in season 2 for a Street Fighter 6 but anyway I'm out I'll see you guys later